It's good to see you. Uh, I am the Ghirardelli guy. But you can call me a copycat of a thermal rift. But, to be fair, so I have a bunch of chocolates for you today. And basically everyone knows that Ghirardelli, like our chocolate, is the best chocolate. That is not, that is not up for debate. But people usually don't know that we are how many different chocolates we have. What a variety that we offer. And that is basically why they have asked me to come to you today and just show you all these amazing things that you would like to put in your mouth. Seriously, your mind will be blown. So, basically, we're going to go through all the flavors. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen different layers of chocolate for you. And I'm just going to slowly go through them. I'm going to have a bite, you're going to have a bite, and uh, we'll just fill out an order. Does that sound does that sound good? Of course it does. So, um, I just had to buy, get one of each flavor for you, and uh, I know honestly, I'm gonna want a bite of each just as much as you will, cause you know, chocolate is kind of my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Um, but without further ado, just seeing all this chocolate before me, um, we're just gonna get it started. So, um, first let's start with something that is, uh, kind of well known, okay? Just something kind of normal. Here we go. Let me, uh, grab it for ya. So, we're just gonna start off with some basic things. The easy ones. The stuff that's not too hard to swallow. <laughs> oh my god, so bad. <laughs> okay. Our first one today is just our classic milk chocolate. So This is our just regular classic, um, almost legendary, as some would say, is our milk chocolate. The best of the best, the most original there can be is our milk chocolate. Okay, so let's let's crack this bad. Whoa, sorry, my southernness almost came out again. I've been trying to shove that down for so long, but uh, let's crack this bad boy open. There we go. So, as you can see, it is real chocolate. Oh, and just look at that. Look at that logo, that stamp. It's quite beautiful, if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself. Okay, just look at this beautiful, 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 just beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful chocolate square. It's just a beautiful chocolate square. I'm going to be a bad one today. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You'd think it can't get much better than that, but just wait. Here, you take a bite. Yeah, I know it's disgusting to bite after mine, but I only bought one, so you don't want to get FOMO, do you? There you go. Oh, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Perfect. Okay. 
So, first thoughts on that one. Out of uh, $69.99, how would you rate that? You don't really understand the question? Well, I better figure it out what that means because uh, we got a lot to rate here, okay? Okay, we'll just figure it out. Think about it. We'll get some more context of uh, where we um, where we can get the ratings when we try these other few. So, what should we do? You know, next one. Let's go for. Uh, let's just do all the milk. No, you know what? We're gonna be fancy. We're gonna go straight to the dark chocolate. Just straight to the dark chocolate the dark chocolate the dark chocolate now again beautiful 86 percent cacao um which is a form of cow that is very hard to come by in the states um it's part bow part cow and uh part cockatoo so pretty crazy um i could make a joke about the name cockatoo but you know, those that's for the comedians that are good at comedy. My mouth was very wet, but it still was watering. Just look at this one. It looks like the milk chocolate, but it's a little bit darker. And this is an important thing to understand about Ghirardelli, is that it does not matter the shade. They all are somebody's favorite. And now they all should be treated like they're the best chocolate in the world. There's some bigger meaning in that somewhere. But I'm too hungry to think about it, so let's just dive right in. Mmm. Pretty solid snap on that one. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh. You can really taste the bird in that one. But it's really good. I'm going to get some water. Okay. Now that I got some water, it tastes a little bit better. I forgot, did you, uh, did you want a bite? Okay, amazing, yeah. Nice, yeah, okay. I'm gonna be totally transparent with you. Um, this is my first week as a Ghirardelli guy, and I did not think that I was gonna dislike the dark chocolate as much as I do, so if you like it, let me know, but that kind of makes me scared because half of this is dark chocolate, and I want to like... I want to like my job. I'm gonna... Well, you know, there's no time like the present, and there's no present like a Ghirardelli chocolate, is what I like to come up with on the spot. Okay, um... Let's, let's, uh... What's one that I think will be good? Um... I want to see how many dark chocolates I have versus milk chocolates. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got four milk chocolates and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got a lot more dark chocolates. But this is just... You know, this is a lesson on life, is you gotta try new things. And, uh, fun fast, my fun facts, my glass is octagonal. I love that my glass is octagonal. And I love that these are squares, you know. I'm a big, I'm a big shape guy, you know. But I had to retire that to become the Ghirardelli guy, so. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's do something that I it might be some good. So, um, here we go. This one looks fun. This will be a fun one. It is the 
sea salt soiree, or sour, is uh, as it's pronounced in France. Um, and it is the intense dark, so... So, without further ado, it's the uh, sea salt soiree. And we are going to just... We're going to love it. So, let's get this bad boy open as well. Oh, this one's actually very nice because it's got the little salt particles. You know, it really reminds you of the sea. Um, and the last one was a bird, reminded you of a J, so this is a C. The last one was a... That was a bit of a stretch, wasn't it? We'll just try it. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. You know, that one's not bad. Here, you want a piece? Nice, yeah. You really taste the uh, salt. You know, yeah. The salt is a... Uh, oh. Man, you know, that really does feel like you're licking the bottom of an ocean floor. That's a fun one. That's a good one. I like it. This one is perfect to eat when you have a canker sore because this will this will heal all your canker sores. You know, you just put the salt part on it and then you also get the intense dark chocolate. Beautiful, you know. And that's that's really why I admire the Ghirardelli chocolate because because they're doing they're they're being efficient and they're being practical with the things they make. You know, let's bang out all the dark chocolate ones while we're at it. And speaking of practical, this is the peppermint bark. And it says on the packaging um, that you, this is the substitute for brushing your teeth. So, you know, that that is a pretty great, pretty great, uh, pretty great um, strategy for marketing strategy. You know, I really like that. So, I will be using that strategy tonight, so. Let's get this bad boy open. I think I'm gonna call them all bad boys because they just make me be like a bad boy and you know you are what you eat. That worked so well. Wow, sometimes I terrify myself. Ooh, this one uh, makes it a little spicy, look at that. You got a black or a brown back and a white front with some specks of the peppermint. Now that is beautiful. Now, if you see, it's kind of, oh my god, that's disgusting, but, uh, you know, it's a camouflage one, so, sorry about that. You know, obviously I'm very new at this, so I'm, I'm trying to be a good salesman, but, I, you know, I'm just, so much going on in here, it's hard to, hard to. This is a fan favorite. I wonder why it's called peppermint bark and not peppermint meow. Sometimes I terrify myself. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, let's go and I'd recommend a bite of it. This is actually one that I buy myself, so that's cool. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying that as a salesman. That's I buy all of these. So, any uh, hard hitters so far that you like? Not really okay? No problem? You know, we're just gonna, we're just getting started. We're gonna, just you wait. Just you wait. Oh. You ever start a video and realize it's gonna be so much longer than you thought it'd be? And it's 11.30 at night already and you're like, what, I gotta work tomorrow? But, 
what am I saying? I'm working today. It's getting a little too meta. Let's dive back into the roleplay, okay? Um, uh, let's see. Okay. We'd already had mint, so I don't want to get on our mint one. Let's do... Let is, let's just get through it, okay? We're going to do the... Um, another intense dark. But this time, instead of... Uh, Instead of 86% cacao, we're just going to bump that up right to 92% cacao. That's what we're going to do. Because that, you know, why not give people more of what they love? So, let's just dive right into this bad boy. Wow. That is scary. Look at that. That is terrifying. Look at how thick that is. If you want to really be the most intimidating guy or girl at your school or any you know whatever if you want to be the most intimidating person at your school at your work or whatever eat these seven days a week yeah seven days yeah just eat these a lot okay oh man okay here we go I like the clicks on them I like the cracks it's good It's really good. I love that one. That was a good one. That was great. I want nothing but that one. Ah, sweet. So, uh, you know, I'm going to make you try it too because that's only fair. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, make sure that you take a bite of the part that has the saliva on it. Yeah, that's great. There you go. Okay. So, here we go. We got, um, we got... A lot more to try now you know what basically is gonna get better from here because now we only have well okay we have a 60% uh, cacao intense dark to look forward to so I'm gonna save that one for a little bit later because that is going to be the one um, that just takes us home I think that's gonna be a winner so 60% cacao. I don't know if it's enough. Honestly, we should just do 100% cacao and just see where that gets us. Because, you know, the people want the cacao. You know, you know, and that's the best thing. That's the thing you need to learn about Ghirardelli is that they had the idea to put a bird and a cow together and make the best chocolate that there's ever been. And that, you know, you got to listen to those crazy ideas in your head because... It, they're gonna get you places, you know? They are. They really are. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's do this. So, um, let's do a fun one. So, this is gonna be our intense dark still. I don't know the percentage of cacao, which is kind of disappointing. Because that's all I'm looking for. But basically, this is the Raspberry Radiance. Now, have you ever wanted chocolate to sound like a perfume? Because this is what you'll get. Raspberry Radiance. Dark chocolate with raspberry bits. And with other natural flavor. Hopefully, cacao is what we're looking for. That is like a treasure hunt now. It's fun. I love it. Let's get this bad boy open. You know what? I kind of feel that bad boy is discriminatory. So, let's open this good boy. It just doesn't have the same ring to it, but here we go. So, oh, look at that. That is a tasty McMuffin right there. Oh my goodness, here we go. I am excited. You know, I love to eat them like this. Like, mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That tastes like Christmas morning. But Christmas morning on a Saturday. Oh, that's so good. That's actually really that's a really good one. I'm gonna go for a second. And a third. And then you get a bite. There we go. Ten out of ten would recommend. Am I right? That's a solid one. That's a good one. So yeah, I'm glad that you're liking these more than I am. But that one, oh, it's hard to think. It's hard to know what I'm supposed to be selling when it's just that good because it just it does the selling for you, you know. Mm. Okay, so. Um, let's see what our next one would be. You know what? We're going to go back to the mint, but we're going to do, instead of the peppermint bark, which we have another one of, but it's a milk chocolate, we're going to do the dark chocolate mint. Dark chocolate mint, which, as you can see, is being um, advertised in a nice dark mint green, you know. Now, if that isn't amazing packaging, I don't know what is, okay? Now, see, that's the thing about Ghirardelli is that... The importance of what you're selling is what it looks like. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, like, you want people to see what you're selling and be like, I want to eat that. And then, and then they realize, wait, I'm supposed to eat what's inside of it? That's even better. And that's what I think I am learning about working at your deli this week so far. I love working at a deli because, oh, a deli. <laughs> I tell my parents I'm working at a deli. You know, but it's a gear deli, a chocolate deli. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, now if that ain't a thick boy, that's like a quarter inch. Wow. I really do like it. I do like it. And it is, you know, that's the thing I love about gear deli is they make you excited to put this in your mouth. Like, how do they do that? I don't even know. How do they do that? Okay, not as much as a crunch on that one, or a snap, it's not too bad. Oh, but man, it's a filling. The mint filling is very, very good. I would recommend this one because if you like Andy's mint, you like Ghirardelli's mint chocolate. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, and the best thing about the filling ones is that when you bite it, it like kind of crumbles as you're biting it in the middle because the middle's kind of hollow with a liquid. Best experience you'll ever have, trust me. Mm. And I that, mean that in life. That is like top three feelings in life. You know? It's so crazy. Next to going down on an airplane descending and feeling like you're lifting, but it's not enough like a roller coaster where you can get sick, it's just like you're floating. That's the best feeling. And then what's another best feeling? Uh, you know, when you're on an elevator and it stops as it's going up, but you jump and so you jump like a little bit higher, that's a pretty good feeling as well. Um, and of course, Autonomic sensory meridian response. Autonomous sensory meridian response is the best feeling ever. So sorry how silly of me. But I'm a salesman. Did you know that I have that? Yeah. One of the few people that do. Like one in five, right? It's kind of a beautiful thing. So. Oh, man. Now, uh. This is getting a lot. So let me see. What is a good one? You know, here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna try something because with this luscious feeling is what it says. Is that say luscious feeling or what? Beautiful, luscious feeling. Yes, it says luscious. Have you ever seen luscious on something that you're supposed to eat? I have never, and that makes me want to eat it all the more. But I do have to say I'm not a big white chocolate person, and I'm not a big caramel person. So why did I say caramel? Who who am I trying to play? I'm a caramel guy. I say caramel like. That southernness is just kind of coming back out. I'm trying to shove it down. Okay. Um, uh, 
I'm gonna take a swig to relax the taste buds and we're gonna rip into this white boy. Ooh, it's better to steer clear of that. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Pretty nice, pretty thick, and that's how we know the luscious filling is gonna take over our sensation. So let's get excited. Am I right? Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is, but this would be a lot better if it was 92% cacao. <laughs> oh, my hypothesis was right. This is not mine, but it might be yours. Here comes an airplane. You. Alright, okay, we'll try it again. I obviously, you didn't take to that. Okay, you're a loss, honestly. Literally made it the most fun it could be, but okay. <clears throat> Let's find my next one for our supply. So um, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left of the regulars, and I kind of have a little fun treat as a lightning round at the end. Just a little bit of heart, a little bit of love that we wanna. We want to share around. We want to share the love around. Sorry, the love. This is the southernness. The southernness. It's just kind of creeping up. I'm sorry. Get away. Okay. Um, you know, we're gonna go back to that sea salt because what I'm thinking is that the sea salt dark chocolate I had was pretty good for kangasaurus but will this will this measure up to the kangasaurus that's how, that's how we're gonna rate this one we're gonna rate it on how easily will it get rid of kangasaurus okay sea salt almond i am a fan of almonds in chocolate so let's uh let's see how this bad boy does okay first off first i'd like seeing the rocky road it's pretty beautiful it's an amazing sight to see. Look at that texture. Oh, that texture. Oh, and look at the uh, the brown and the orange and the the brown red green that just sparkles off of it. That that's in the chocolate. If you want, if you do believe me, that's in the chocolate. Mm. Bit of a warm one because it's melted in my fingers. Well, you know what that means. We just gotta eat it all the faster. Let's get a nice one for this one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, you know, wow, that's a smart cookie right there, that's a good one, that's a good one, ooh, I would eat more, but I got a lot to prepare for, so that one I'm going to save for later, that's going on the good plate. Sorry, that was very rude of me. Would you like a bite? Of course you can have a bite. But you know what I'm gonna do? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. This is this is how a good salesman works. Look at it's even shaped like an like one of those stealth planes. Look at Oh it must have been so stealthy you didn't see it coming because you didn't open your mouth to it. Come on. Actually do it. Actually do it. I know I will know if you don't actually do it. Okay? Here we go. Okay, nice. See, you actually did it. The other person didn't, but you did. Well, thank you so much. And isn't that the best of them all so far? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, don't. I know you disagree with me, but you're just doing that to be different and unique. And those people are frustrating sometimes. Most of the time. Okay. Here we go. We got six of the normal ones left. Let's count them down. And you know what? With these last six, 
we're going to start with a banger. We're going to start with what I definitely know will be the best of all of them. And the reason I know that is because it's the only one that says cacao on it. And see, that is, that is what you need to learn. That's what, that's what honestly Ghirardelli is all about. Is te- it taught me in this week so far. It's taught me that branding is everything. And if you know what people want, you put it right on the label. And you put exactly what percentage of people will like this bar. 60% of people will like this bar because it's got cacao in it. You know? And that's, I think that's what that means. And that is amazing. That's marketing. Because if you want to be unique, you want to be with those 60% of people. See, it all connects. It all connects. This is marketed to the people who want to be unique just so that they can be unique, but not because they like the things that they're unique about, okay? That's for these people. They they wouldn't touch the 92% bar, but the 60% bar, you know, they might. So let's rip open this unique boy and uh, just see what it's all about. Yeah, here we go. I am excited for this one because... It is starting off the last round, and it's going to be amazing. So this one, for the sake of uh, this thing, I chopped off a little a little thing, uh, a slice of it. And this is supposed to represent Vermont. Because here's the thing. Vermont, no one wants to live in Vermont. But the people that want to be the unique ones live in Vermont. So this is amazing symbolism. I c- couldn't have worked out better, but just... If you're watching this and you're in Vermont, just realize you hate where you live and come to Chicago with me. We got public transit. It sucks, but it's fun, you know? Go to Kansas City. Middle of the thing. I love Kansas City. I love Denver. I can't name a single city in Vermont except for Boston. So, yeah. Now, let's dig in, okay? Come on, Vermontians. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? That cacao, that's the, that's the cook, that's the clicker, you see. It's cacao, cacao, cacao. That's what makes them click. Mm. In all honesty, this one isn't as bad as the other ones. I mean, it's good, what am I saying? They're not as good as the other ones. What, what a Freudian slip. What a, I'm so bad. What a Freudian slip, I'm so, that's what southern people do. They just say bad. It's when they mean good. You know what I mean? Okay. Now. Hmm. See, we got... We got two caramels. So, you know what? Let's do the... Just the normal milk chocolate caramel. This one, this one's beautiful. The yellow golden packaging, as would be more accurate. The golden packaging, um, this one catches your eye because it's the only, it's one of the only warm colors. You know, we saw a lot of red for the cacao and the dark chocolate. But really, the golden is just, it makes you feel like number one. So let's see if it tastes like number one, okay? Let's do this. Let's get right into the magic. And let's pop open this number one boy. You know that one? I feel like it's starting to sound weird, so I'm going to stop saying it. And it is one of our milk chocolates. And once again, very beautiful. I don't know how they do it. Do they make a chocolate stamp? Like, what? <laughs> the, the logo's right on the chocolate. You're eating the logo. And the logo is inside of you. And when it comes out, the logo's still there, I think. I think that's in the that's in part of the packaging as well. It says that. So here we go. Let's rip right into it. Mmm. Oh man. Sorry, that's very um weirdly gratuitous. Um I don't think I use that word right. Whatever. Nope, not bad. You know, this should... I got a brilliant idea. Oh my gosh. They should make this, but just don't put caramel in it. People would buy that. Yeah. 
I'm gonna suggest that. That's a good idea. Cause honestly, like just milk chocolate by itself would be good. No, oh, that's literally the first bar I tried. Man. Well, I feel like the number one dummy after eating that one. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. What am I going to say, guys? Here I go, you. Come on. We're going to do this. We're going to do this together. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah. So, isn't it weird how I talk into your chin and it just gets really loud? It's like, I've heard that this is where you're supposed to talk to people if you want to, you know, be intimate and, and really share some secrets. That's what people tell me, at least. And that's what I'm doing. Obviously, it's working, so. Oh, man. Let's do... So, here's, here's what our options. Oh, this is fun. I didn't even think about this. Here's our options. We have... Caramel... Or, no. Yeah. Milk chocolate caramel brownie. Or dark chocolate raspberry. We have those two. And then we have a peppermint bark and a dark chocolate sea salt caramel. So, here is the trigger. I'm gonna see if you can decide what I'm gonna be selling to you next, okay? Here we go, ready? Am I gonna choose the dark chocolate raspberry, the milk chocolate caramel brownie, the peppermint bark, or the sea salt caramel? Which one am I gonna give you next? You are so right. It is definitely, definitely, how could it not be the peppermint bark? That is what we are going to do. So, here we go. Um, let me open this bad boy. Man, I forgot that I was going to stop saying it, but it's just so part of my southernness that I'm trying to shove it down. Oh, I forgot. It's so beautiful. You got party in the back, business in the front, and you got all the little specks of peppermint and just peppered on it. Pepper, maybe that's why, because it looks like pepper, but it's mint, so it's peppermint. That's probably what it is, because I'm not learning anything, finding anything new. I'm not a genius. So, here we go. Let's dig right in. This is a good one. Good choice. Solid. Here's your bite. Yeah. Real good. Real good. Oh. Okay. Next one, am I choosing the raspberry, caramel brownie, or sea salt caramel? Okay. Which one? Raspberry, caramel brownie, or sea salt caramel? Oh my gosh, you're right again. Two for two. No way. Of course, why would it not be the sea salt caramel? Why would it not be? Obviously, you know that I want to end on a good note, and I definitely think that raspberry and caramel brownie are way better to end on than sea salt caramel. You see, I would if I had cake or right now, but I don't. You know, I only get those on vacations and times when I'm trying to relax when it's the most inconvenient. And then you can't even eat something like a hot dog without just your mouth being on fire because of mustard and you have to like mustard because what's a hot dog without mustard and ketchup? You know, obviously you can see this is a very big issue for me, so I'm glad that Ghirardelli... See, that's the thing about Ghirardelli is it's teaching me to really think about your customers and about how it personally affects your life, you know, and their life. Like, how can you, what's something that personally affects you? If you make that, that will touch the hearts of so many people who feel similar. 
And that's that's the thing about Ghirardelli. They they know that, you know. They know that. They know that. They do. Let's open this bad girl. Is that worse? Man. I really need to get my act together. If I'm going to be a salesman. I want to be a salesman for like eight years before I decide something else to do. So I guess we'll see. Here we go. Sea salt caramel. It looks like it's luscious filling again, which... Luscious is actually my least favorite character in um, Harry Potter, which I believe he's the dad of Draco, yeah. He's just like, I feel like he's poorly written in the movies and, you know, I like the actor. The actor does a great job, but it's just like, it's also a pretty stupid name. Who would name a bad guy that? So, here we go, let's bite into it together. Oh, you want to do it together, like at the same time? That is cute. That is so cute. Good idea. That is, that is honestly the cutest thing I've ever heard. And that's, that's the thing about Ghirardelli is they teach me that something like that really resonates with your customer. And, and it really becomes a part of their everyday routine. You know, you start this in their lives and they will start doing it to other people in their lives. And then you have created this amazing, wonderful, intimate movement that just flourishes and becomes something beautiful and beyond the chocolate and that I love that Ghirardelli enables that something beyond the chocolate just you know it's just beautiful honestly but it's beautiful it's so beautiful so let's do that let's do that it's not gonna be too hard okay ready mmm mmm kinda squirted at me a little bit Maybe a little too aggressive, sorry. I'm just so enticed by the cute idea. Whoa. A bit of a... Whoa. A bit of a... Uh, a bit of a punch. Oh, man. Okay. one I'll let you see it because the colors are very very beautiful so am I choosing the raspberry or the caramel brownie raspberry or caramel brownie oh, of course you're right yeah. why wouldn't I choose that it obviously has to be the caramel brownie obviously obviously that purple I love purple so much. Purple is such a fun color. It's not even my favorite color, but it might be. You know, I don't... Can you change your colors? I don't even know. I think blue is kind of my favorite color, but now it's, it's got to be purple, maybe. Maybe it's my favorite color just because I know how much my girlfriend hates purple. Which is not a great reason, but... You know, it's just kind of sometimes things got to be that way. Okay, here we go. We're going to rip into this purple boy. Purple girl, purple person, purple person. That would have been so good if I just thought of that earlier. But then that might have been offensive, offensive to the blue man group. Oh, could have been some legal trouble there. Man, you are not safe anywhere these days. That's why I think it's better if we just all spoke a sign language. Because then you could just pretend that you, like, you know, had a spasm. And then you'd be forgiven, you know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But let's eat this because it is caramel brownie. And honestly, I'm pretty darn excited for this one. Milk chocolate caramel brownie. Like, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Let's just, I don't even know what to say about it. I am at a loss of words. Let's just deep, dig deep and go right for the middle. Also strong. Whoa. Wow. 
never thought eating something would, like this would make my entire face have such expressions, you know? It kind of wows me. And that's the thing about Ghirardelli's. They do that. They just put so much passion in what they make that it's just beautiful. It's this amazing thing that your face just has to go, wow, you know? It's just, bam, just, whoa, just, wow, just, ah, just, ah, you know? It's crazy. Ghirardelli should start, you know, selling water, too. I feel like that'd be smart. Because I notice each time I eat a square, the next thing I'd want to do is drink water. And I'm so sorry. Oh! That was your piece. Here, just let me get it off the floor. I don't want to waste your piece. Here you go. Here, well, let me get that nice little hair. Here we go. And here's your bite. There you go. And while you're eating this, any suggestions of what I could do better as a salesman? Maybe, you know? Oh, did I? I here, let me get that hair. Sorry, I thought I got it off. Any suggestions on what would be good advice for a salesman? You know, maybe make me a little better? You don't have to answer now. That's fine. And um, next one, am I going to choose to end this end of this session or choose the raspberry let's see which one am I gonna pick no of course I'm gonna choose the raspberry I'm not gonna end the session are you crazy we're having too much fun this is a real friendship and that's the thing about Ghirardelli is, is it builds friends and that's what I need not to get too sad as you know friends and I thought Ghirardelli would be the place and that's what it's become for me you know it's Ghirardelicious dang it nah sorry one of my supervisors told me that a good way to sell is to tug at the heartstrings of your customer and try to come up with some sort of pun about how I have no friends and mix it with Ghirardelli so that every time you think of not having friends, you want to eat a Ghirardelli. 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 I don't know. I can't think of one. But if you think of one, write it down. Oh, I'd love to know. Some sort of pun for having no friends and the word Ghirardelli. It's like kind of hard. I have no friends because I'm Ghirardelli. It's the best thing I could think of. But I said something worse, apparently. So. Let's just crack this last boy open. Man, I sound like Anakin Skywalker in the third prequel. Ooh, a bit of a tough one, but, you know, it's always the ones that make you work for it that end up being the most delish. Oh, upside down. Wrong side. Still learning what up and down is okay so here is the raspberry one and this is the one i've been the most excited for it's dark chocolate raspberry raspberry luscious filling oh angels raining from the sky telling you how amazing this is gonna be i don't even want to give you any part of it but let's try it mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is the best one. You gotta try it. That's for sure. Definitely my favorite. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. I am I right? Yeah. I know. I know. It's crazy. Oh. I would steal so many of these, and I'd be okay losing my job over it. Oh man, so many. Nice. So, as I was, you know, going through these chocolates, which first of all, I want to thank you for allowing me to sell all these to you. Um, I 
to have the complimentary for being so nice you get to keep this and you can have you can eat all of them and this is free you get as many as you want you can just take the whole plate um, this is yours to keep so here you go here's that um, and then basically I have these fun little ones for you which I realized after reading them are the same are just mini versions of the same chocolate so this is just milk chocolate that you can have this is the dark chocolate raspberry that we just had so definitely you can have that one um, but if you feel like it, you can give it to me you know you know if you want and it's not like that was my favorite and I had to eat all the cacao for you and you know I don't want any friends but, but you can keep it it's fine do you, are you sure you, do you want it or because yeah if you don't want it I'll take it yeah yeah okay yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I love. Thank you. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I'd love to take it. Yeah, I'll just I'll just get off your hands. Why worry about it? You know, why worry about it? But you can have this milk chocolate sea salt caramel, and they're little little bunnies. They're very cute. Or they're eggs. I don't know what's inside of them. I hope they're bunnies because eggs seem too easy. You know. And this last one is the dark chocolate sea salt, sea salt caramel. So you can really decide whether you like the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate sea salt caramel. And which one's best. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, as to end this, I'm just going to fill out an order real quick of the ones that you want. And the ones that you like. And uh, I will just get you a quick price. Um, I will say no matter which ones you want and the quantity, it's all going to be $69.99 for whatever you want. I'm just going to make that the price because for some reason I have a feeling like that's what it should be. Um, and that's the best thing about Ghirardelli because they let us choose prices, I think. I haven't really asked yet. I don't really know the pricing, so I'm just going to kind of make it up on the spot. And that's the thing about sales is I've learned that if you communicate with your customer directly that what you're doing, that that means that they will respect you and trust you when you're telling them something in the future. So... Thank you so much for uh, letting me do this. Let me grab a uh, pen and pencil. What am I saying? A pen and paper. And uh, I will get that order down real quick for you. Okay, so here we go. If you just want to let me know the products that you liked, and I will get it started. Okay. Okay. How many of, how many of those would you like? Okay, and anything else? Oh yeah, that was a good one. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That was a really nice one. And how much of that would you like? Okay, and then um, would you like a few more things? Is there anything else you need? Okay, you want some of that. And that's okay. Want some of that? Okay. And that. Okay. And some of that. Perfect. Okay. Amazing. So, uh, real quick, I'm just gonna add an extra order of the um, dark chocolate raspberry on top. Now you will pay for it, but not to worry if you don't want it, I'll take it right out of your hands, okay? No problem. I'm just going to give you the extra. Um, so if, if you did want to eat them, how many would you like? Okay, we're going to order a lot more than that just to make sure that you get your fill. But again, if you don't want it, I'm right here, you know. I am right here. And that's the thing about you're no longer a customer is you are a friend. And you are someone that I am able to exploit Maybe that's why I don't want to be friends. Who knows? I'm not very self-aware, okay? So, here we go. I'm just going to add about 150,000 more of that. Okay. Perfect. Is there anything else that you want? Awesome. Okay. Oh, no, I don't need your uh, name 
or information or anything, uh, I can find you. Yeah. We're friends. I can, I can find you. <laughs> I can find you. So, thank you so much. I appreciate you doing this. And, uh, yeah, yeah, take that plate. It is all yours. So, I hope you have a good one. And uh, if you need more, you just come back anytime, and we will we'll do this again anytime. It's amazing. Um, but, uh, yeah, you have a good one. I'll see you later. Ooh.